I close with this question. Do we embrace this change? And uh, an observation by our buddy Jack, formerly of GE. If the rate of change on the outside exceeds the rate of change on the inside, the end is near. So this is not a question at all. It's actually an imperative. Please, you don't have to do everything. The number one question of the day, and this is your very last sheet at the end, what is it that you could do that would be valuable for your target audience? When you answer that question, what would be valuable to them? Then you pick a tool which might deliver that value. So just out of curiosity, what were some of the things that people heard today that they thought would be valuable to the organization? By the way, do we have a marketing person in the room? Who's marketing? Do we have anyone marketing? Really. You're, you're our most marketing, so I'm going to ask you to take a couple notes on what's, what people suggest. Now, I want to point out, marketing is not necessarily the source for all the content. We are the source for the content, right? So we have to organize behind our marketing folks to get all that great content. But um, let's talk about some of the key ideas. So what did you guys like about what you heard today? So is it Mike, our chief operating officer? What was one thing you liked that you heard today out of this set of ideas? I was pretty that Google The Google Alerts. I think everybody in the company That's could probably find something with Google Alerts. So I would suggest that maybe we bring together some folks from different departments and have a discussion about what would benefit each of us. And then maybe once a month, for three months, we get together and compare some of the amazing things we're learning. So that would be a possibility. Google Alerts is my favorite starting point, because from there we learn and figure out where to go next. All right, so love that one. Who else had an idea here, one of these things that they thought might be beneficial to the organization? Suggestions. Okay, let's go back here. Crowdspring. Okay, Crowdspring. So whenever we need to design or get some outside energy, why not, at a nice low starting price point, engage or crowdsource ideas from the world? Again, it's one of my favorite services. I've used it six times, and the only thing I'll say about it is, you got to be ready when you turn on the fire hose because you're going to get dozens or hundreds of ideas and you want to provide timely feedback so that you get iteration. But seven to ten days later you've got your next maybe it's logo or website or product name. I use this once for product naming. Think about this. I did a project for a, a company that they're uh, an insurance salvage processor. So they get all this damaged stuff back from their clients when they give the checks and they want to sell that to the public. What do you call that kind of service? Well, we put this out to the world. What would you call that service? And we haven't really thought about it, but you'd call it a fire sale, wouldn't you? Because that's really what it's all about. Great prices, buyer beware. And so fire sale was the core name. So engage the crowd, crowdspring.com. Love the idea, great for design and a lot of other things. Other ideas, back here? Who was back there? Um, you could use chatter. So if you're estimating a job and you want to figure out how busy the competition is that you're doing the needs, you can send out a thing. It's plenty busy right now, but they want to pick up work. Or yeah. Just gave you our log read, pull up. Interesting. So now you're going to tap into knowledge throughout the organization to try to be smarter about do we go for higher margin or you know sharpen our pencils a little bit. Uh, I think Chatter has a lot of Chatter or Yammer has a lot of other benefits, but I would suggest. Small scale trial, perhaps, to, you know, let's get a small team and try it out and see if we like it and it's free and if it works then we're going to expand it. And in any experiment, you know, two, three months, it's not working, hey, fail fast, that's good too. Not everything you're going to try will work. So you had one. I have a lot of questions. Okay. Oh, let's get this, uh, uh, you know, I'm using some customer <laughs> video. You get the point though about video, right? It's not that hard to get a quick customer video. Go ahead. Um, Okay, yes, right. So this is the, the whole thing we looked at with like Starbucks or Salesforce or, or Vistage. 100,000 companies are doing that. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Uh, QR codes. Okay, QR codes, yep. Yeah, you know what? Everybody has a phone. So let's do something with it that takes you know, a little more than a piece of paper. Right here. What do you want to do? I actually took a picture on the plane yesterday on the way back with USR, like with Lynn. Yeah. With their uh, hiring ad, with their QR code. And then I flipped the page and QIT Q -It was right behind it. Strategy. Interesting, right. And so you're just making it easy for me as a potential employee. Now I've got the employment process or app or phone number right here, right in front of me, right? So, you know, and by the way, it's a signal. Hey, we are, we're on top of these leading tools, and so they're just using the tool signaling something about themselves. 
So people make judgments about companies based on their embrace of technology or not. Uh, anything else you want to mention? Uh, WordPress. WordPress. Yeah. So why why have to call you know the hosting company and the programmers every time? Instead, let's just move our all or some of our website to WordPress and then make it responsive, right? So it can work on these devices. The cost that, it, that we spend for outsourcing. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. It's absolutely. Huge. Yeah, and by the way, I don't do uh, WordPress websites, but if you want a recommendation, email me. I'll tell you the guys who I've worked with that are really good at WordPress responsive design. Do it anywhere on the planet. Other people want to comment on ideas beyond what's been mentioned. Anything else that sounded like it was uh, something really interesting to, to use? Alexa. Well, Alexa. Yeah, exactly. So uh, that's another, to me, um, idea that... Uh, we should adopt as sort of foundational and be looking month, up, month by month at each of our competitors, who's winning, what's their strategy, who's losing, check them again in a month. So Alexa, Compete, SEMrush, Quantcast. So you'll notice there are, on your handout, there are for each idea the slide numbers next to it. It's an index back in. Uh, so uh, why don't we leave it right there? The goal is not to do everything. You do too many things at one time, you dissipate your resources. So I would rather see you do one thing well than five things poorly. So maybe like a Chinese restaurant, you order one thing today, and you come back again in a few weeks and order one other thing. So with that, thank you very much. Good luck on your social media journey. Dave, uh, Stephen, when he told us about this, you come in to speak with us. He says you're going to be blown away, and and I would say he was uh, understating. Wow. Um, normally we have a speaker's little token gift. It's a BlackBerry Bold. <laughs> <laughs> but based on your comments, we'll dispense with that. But I would like to uh, to thank you for your uh, insightful uh, comments. I think we all. I know my head's kind of busted right now, and I, I suspect a lot of folks in this room are. But. Uh, we'd really like to thank you for... All right. Well, it was my pleasure. Good luck with everything.